From Techo, here is News or Fake News, the podcast that gives you some of the more niche tech stories of the week, but spoiler, one of them is fake. Can you tell which one? I'm Natalie Hayward, and with me are... John Kelleher. And Imogen Mills. So today, we're looking back at some of the most recent headlines, but will John and Imogen be able to guess which isn't really news at all? So today's stories, Kindle is working on an audiobook of a dictionary... Meghan Markle is launching her Spotify career, and TikTok is expanding its stories feature. Did you just say that the Kindle is working on an audiobook of the dictionary? dictionary yeah. By which presumably you mean audible? Yes. Which okay. Just words, or is it a story? From a dictionary? I think it's a dictionary. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's yeah, why it's like, yeah. is it just so, words? Amazon will release an audiobook of the dictionary to help those with sight problems and dyslexia or those oh. who simply want to listen to the dictionary. <laughs> it will be released in September in line with National Eye Health Week in time for National Dy- Dyslexia Week in October. And users can either skip along to find a word that they want, to have it spelled out to them or find out what it means, or they can just listen to it if you really want to. So is it searchable? Not searchable, but you can skip along. You can skip along and just keep going and hope that you find yeah, your you're right. Yeah. Wow. How, who's narrating it? I'm not sure. They haven't announced that yet. Because it's quite controversial if it's read out and it's being narrated. Because then you're making a choice about what's the correct way to yeah, pronounce that's things. Very true. Would you say grass or grass, for example? I'd obviously say grass. Would you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? It depends on uh, what grass. mood I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> If it's a scout person. Oh, it would be grass. Yeah. Grass. Yeah. Do you think it's probably the, like the Queen's English or yeah, probably a bit like, like received bit. pronunciation? Yeah. Mm. You could have Stephen Fry do it because I think yeah, no I one would present him. Fry. Yeah. yeah. But would or he? Or David Attenborough. David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's quite good. This word in its natural time. habitat. <laughs> But I mean, I couldn't imagine Stephen Fry taking that on, but that wasn't part of the, the thing, so yeah. I'm not going to get too obsessed with that. It does seem like a huge project. It does, does seem good. needed, but I can't imagine it being something that you just skip through. Yeah. And... No, it, surely it's like you search up the word that you're looking for. Search up. Search up. Search, oh, search, no. search up. Okay. So the next one, Meghan Markle is launching her debut Spotify podcast this summer. She was worried about working with the platform over the Joe Rogan controversy, but she's now happy with the way that Spotify tackles misinformation, even though they haven't really Who? done much. Meghan Markle, she married into the royal family. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Was on Suits. Uh, the exact subject of the podcast is still unknown, so it's one of those news stories where it's like, this might be happening. But this is... If you, if this is a lie, you've done well with it because you're right that she was reluctant to actually go ahead with this. But the Sussexes had signed up to do podcasts on Spotify and it was apparently becoming something of a point of tension um, for Spotify that nothing had actually yeah. happened from that signature. So the fact that Meghan Markle is about to do something is them finally delivering on that, I suppose. So if it's a lie, it's a good lie. Thank you. Mm. Or am I just thanking you for no reason? Wait, sorry, can you yeah. say that again? She's making a podcast. She's making a podcast. About uh, what? She, she hasn't said yet. She just wants to make one. She's signed a deal with Spotify, apparently. Mm. They need money. They need money. They're expensive lifestyles and security requirements. Not money. Well, that's one of the things. They, they've been struggling for cash because they aren't um, getting their allowance yeah. from the royal family like they were because they stood down from being senior royals. Mm. So they've got to make money their own, by their own way. Mm. Poor them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so the final story, TikTok is allowing some users to post stories. It's not like in the traditional sense. Those that ha- do have a story, you will have a blue ring around their profile indicating that they've posted one, but only those who can post a story can see other people's stories. Only those who post a story only, can see another no, story. No, so only those who are allowed to post a story in the trial can see other people's oh, story. Oh, I see. But if you aren't allowed to be, if you aren't part of the trial, then you don't know that people have stories. And yeah, like Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, stories will last for twenty-four hours before being gone for good. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we have got permission to create stories on our TikTok <laughs> account. Oh. I'm pretty sure because I saw a notification recently. 
I hope that wasn't in our Instagram account. <laughs> so I'm, go I'm going with this one is true. I don't know. I'm going to go with true. <laughs> was that code for this is a lie it's not a very good one <laughs> am I insulted I don't know okay so I think we're probably just left with Meghan Markle Spotify's herself and uh, the first one Kindle. Kindle doing the dictionary oh yeah but Kindle I think if this was a big news story, it would be Amazon rather than Kindle because Kindle's like a brand within it mm. and Kindle isn't the audio Maybe book. it's just what I wrote. Maybe it's the Jamie's way you wrote it, yeah. Time. I don't think Jamie can look the Jamie's on leave. Yes, on leave. Yeah. Um, yes. What do you think, Imogen? What do you think? I have a feeling it's the dictionary one. It's just a big job, isn't it? But it kind of just, it would be quite a nice thing to do, <clears throat> to be fair. It should be done, but not as an audiobook. It should be yeah. like an yeah. interactive website for pronunciation. I'm sure there's probably it's something like Google, on there. Google, like if you type something in or like Google speaks yeah. to you, you can do it on your phone easily enough. Mm. I don't really see the point of a whole audible of the dictionary. Oh, it's going to be long. It's a lot of words. And it'll be a boring gig for whichever actor gets it. I mean, it, it might yeah. be good for, like, if you've got a baby that wants to fly in, just pop on the dictionary. <laughs> I, I think there are things that you can pop on that are more interesting for both baby and parents than aardvark. Yes. <laughs> Someone watched um, the Bee movie like hundreds of times one year and I think Netflix was like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, yeah, I'm just putting my baby to sleep. My baby only feeds to the Bee movie. <laughs> there was a big Spotify ad campaign a few years ago, wasn't there, of... Um, to the 1,000 yeah. people who stream such and such on Valentine's Day. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's got to be that that's the lie. It's got yeah. to be that. Are you ready to find out? I don't know. Imogen, what are you committing to? Yeah, I'm committing to the dictionary. Are you committing to the dictionary? I'm committed to the dictionary. Then you're both right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> there is not going to be an audiobook of the dictionary. But there is going to be a Meghan Markle pa podcast, podcast. So after Meghan and Harry signed a $25 million contract with Spotify in around December 2020, Meghan has been quite quiet about releasing content. However, it has been announced that she will be releasing a podcast, although what it will cover, we aren't really sure. She and Harry did do a podcast in around December 2020, but this will be her first debut podcast for herself and will be released this summer. They're getting twenty five million pounds from it. This is the, so they've signed a contract with Spotify for twenty five million US dollars, and this is part of that. I'd love to know what their running costs are and how long that will last. Them. Mm. Mm. Literally, and yes, in just in case you needed another platform to post a story on, TikTok has now jumped on the bio and weapon of our beats starting in eight. So viewers will be able to publicly like or react to stories or even comment on them. So which will be view like everyone will be able to view the comments that have been well commented. Stories can have captions, text and music and it's according to the platform in which the TikTok experience. However, TikTok won't be having a bar across the top like Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat have. Instead, if you're scrolling through your news feed or what's it called? For you page, you will see a blue ring around the profile picture of a person that has a story and you'll be able to click on it. Oh, so you know that's a story. No, yeah. Okay, right. So it's a bit of a different way of having stories. So you will be able to see exactly which, if you're following like a thousand people, you, they won't all come at the top with who's got a story, but... Because um, they don't want to lose out on all that data yeah, from all that the scrolling. Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations to you both, again. <laughs> are you good at this? You're quite yeah. good, or maybe I'm quite bad. I don't know. <laughs> the score is now, we don't know. We... Mm. I'm one in the lead. You That's are what one I know. in the lead, I know uh, yeah. that. It's, I think it's 6 5. Yeah, no. Six, it could be 6. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you have one point each time. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but join us next time for more Techo news or fake news. And if you can't wait until then, John, where can they find us? You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on TikTok. You can find us on YouTube. And you can find us at www.techonews.com. See you then. Bye.